On today's show, we hear the stories of some of Woodson's military dependent students as we celebrate the month of the military child. We are also prepping for Earth Week next week. There's an art contest that you can enter. And SJA Class Council and SAC are looking for you next year. Stick with us. Hi Woodson, I'm Noah. And I'm Hannah. In April, we celebrate the month of the military child. Hey Hannah, do you realize that there are 233 families at Woodson that have a military connected student here? I have some friends that have military parents. I do too. And this month is all about giving support to those military families. Our reporter Jada was able to speak to five Woodson students who shared their stories. So, month of the military child, I want to just start by having you all introduce yourself. Um, I'm Tayton, and my mom is in the Air Force. I'm Catherine, and my dad is in the Army. Hi, I'm Elisa, and my dad is in the Army. Hi, I'm Jack, and my dad's retired Marine Corps. Hi, my name is Evan, my dad is in the Navy. And Jack, um, what would you say is the hardest thing about being a military child? Uh, I mean, I guess because I did it at a younger age when I was more like, I don't know, capable to sadness, probably the, the moving, the moving really sucked. I moved five times. I was actually born in Japan and then I moved to Washington state and then Germany and then California and then here. So still in the process of doing it. Uh, I moved, I think nine times so far, uh, lived in Virginia. This is my, my third time now, actually. Um, my dad retires when I graduate high school, which is next year in 23. And they plan to retire to Minnesota, which is where they're from. So, hence the, hence the shirt. <laughs> I think I, like Evan, moved uh, around nine or ten times. <laughs> One loses count at a point. In Germany, I like went to German school. So my dad just like put me and my sister in like a German school, and then we had to like learn how to speak German, which was really cool. But like, well, you you step outside of base, you kind of like everyone knows you as like the American <laughs> from the the support site. Um, you got to get gas, you got to like speak in Italian, you know, say uh, 40 liters or whatever it is. And just like going through those ups and downs, because it was like, I was getting older, I didn't want to leave my friends. And then you get points where it's like, well, I have no friends here. Like you're the new kid. And that's really hard, like kind of feeling alone. And so I would have to depend on people like out of state and you just like be FaceTiming like every night and just like catching up. And so like that was nice, but definitely like even here like because this is my first year at Woodson like the first few months here were just like interesting because I really didn't have anyone like me and my sister kind of just been going through it like all together which is awesome to have her like on my back but it's definitely it's hard and I don't think people realize that because it's like they just look at you on like the other side when you like have like figured yourself out in like a new place uh do any of you want to share about your deployment? I can. Um, in Germany, my dad was deployed to Afghanistan for, I think, nine months. It was definitely hard. Like, I vividly remember it, and it, it was hard on me. Like, I just remember, him, like, dropping him off and, like, just me crying, like, so much. I And we had a song. Like, we made a song. Not made a song, but, like, we had a song together, and, like, any time I hear it now, like, I tear up. My dad was also deployed to Afghanistan. So it was me, my mom, and my three younger brothers all living with... Um, my mom's parents and my grandparents in like rural Minnesota. My dad has been deployed quite a few times. When I was very little, he went to Iraq and then he's been to Afghanistan twice since then. The most recent being my eighth grade year he was deployed. Um, it gets harder, I think, as I get older because I'm more conscious of the dangers associated with him being in a war zone. March is a very solemn month for my family because the first uh, real combat started March 26th and my buddy, my dad's buddy actually got his hand blown off by a frag grenade and so he already had PTSD from being in a combat zone like my after Afghanistan they went to uh, my parents and my older brother at the time went to Hawaii and he couldn't even be in a crowd because he's always you know, he's looking at everything. But at the, at the time, I was like, why is he doing this? Like, 
why is he in Afghanistan? Doesn't really matter. So I, I didn't like um like suffer. I don't know if that's the right word as much um because I wasn't really like conscious of the the relationship I had. But I think afterward, I definitely like oh yeah, now I have my dad back. He's um he comes home every night, and I'm just so grateful that he's here with me now. So. You know, it was like a tough time, but you know I'm glad he like served this country, and like I'm glad that it happened because it made our bond stronger. I think. I don't think that I would be able to take a lot of the stress that school has given me and sports and extracurricular commitments where it's one thing to another, super long days and a lot to handle if I hadn't first had the training of and the mental stress of my entire life being shifted around big transitions and um, <laughs> hard times sort of make everything else seem small <laughs> so it, it puts things in perspective i can always remember no matter how stressed or how worried that i feel i'm i'm safe i live in a country where i don't have to worry right now about my being in immediate danger i have my family with me everyone's home everyone's here life is really good and it I think it's instilled in me the habit of going to gratitude when I feel afraid because <laughs> we have it really good. It's in high school supporting our military students. Let's show our support to our friends by wearing purple next Wednesday, April 20th, Purple Up Day. To know more about supporting the military, contact our Purple Star If you get a chance to walk down D Hall, Mr. Kuykendall now moves new teacher of the year. Are you an artist or a designer? Well, if you answered yes, then here's a challenge. FCPS is having a Schoology design competition open to any student. Your artwork could be what everyone sees right here. The theme is that the design should communicate one or more ways Schoology helps you learn. What does Schoology do for you? 11.59 p.m. is the latest you can submit on this day. Your artwork must have a title, and you can find the permission slip along with any other information on this website. Used today? Yeah, I did. It's just a quick reminder that spring is here. We can start watching baseball. And if you're looking for great athletics, this weekend's softball is at Langley Track and Field at South Lakes, and crew is on the water. A few last-minute reminders. The Trevor Project Run Walk is coming up on April 30th, and you can still sign up outside Leadership A133 using the QR code. And the Innova Blood Drive is here today in Cav Hall for all students that already signed up to donate. That is a wind-up for our show. But before we end, we have a special treat. Please, not a bad joke. Nope, it's an animation from senior Taylor Cho. This is one of several Woodson art students participating in the Herndon Teach Art Tech Arts Competition. Till next week, which is Earth Week, have, have an, an eco-friendly eco Friday. Friday.